Hi everyone, this is Cheryl Long with Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service in Bell County. Today is day one of our Hatching in the Classroom curriculum. The process from start of incubation to the hatching of our chicken eggs takes 21 days. So your chicken should hatch on the same day that you start your incubator. So you can plan accordingly on when you want your chickens to hatch. I always start mine in the middle of the week at our local classrooms. That way I know those chickens will hatch when the kids are in school. You might not think much is happening today since it's day one and those eggs are going into the incubator, but that's totally not the case. As soon as the fertile egg cell egg is laid, cells begin to divide and will start to develop into an embryo. If they're not warmed, then nothing will happen. At this stage, it's really not a chick, just a collection of cells. Although things are happening, they're just not visible to the naked eye. This collection of cells, which will form the embryo, is developing just microscopically. The ce these cells will become the head, spine, blood vessels, nervous system, and digestive system are already starting to divide. It's also important to make sure that every egg is turned throughout the incubation process right up to about day 18 or 19. It is critical in its first week especially. Early in the process, there's a strong possibility that not turning these eggs will cause a developing embryo to stick to the shell membrane and will be unable to grow. Luckily, our incubator here will take care of that for us. I just plugged in our incubator, and so it's still working on getting up to 99.5 degrees. It's not quite there yet. It will adjust since I'm opening the lid. And you can also see the humidity is in green. Again, that's going to adjust because I took the lid off. But luckily, we have an egg turner inside of our incubator here. You can see it'll rotate all day long, just moving those eggs from side to side so the whole egg will get warm. If these eggs were to be on the farm with the hen, the hen would get up several times a day and actually rotate those eggs around so the whole egg gets warm and the, sh the embryo doesn't stick to the outside of the shell. So our incubator here serves as our mama hen and we'll rotate those eggs from us for side to side. This is great for our local classrooms and you at home educators. That way you don't actually have to physically turn the eggs all day long and get up in the night to do so as well. So I'm gonna put the, oh no, we're not gonna do that yet. So let's go ahead and start our incubation process. We have, we're gonna do 12 or a dozen in this incubator here for y'all today. All these eggs are different sizes, shapes, colors. That one's green. And we're just going to put them in our egg turner today. There's no right or wrong way to put them in this Nurture Right 360 incubator because it rotates them on their side. If you're going to use a styrofoam incubator with the um, egg carton like egg turner, you want to put the fat end of the chicken egg up in the air. You have an air pocket right here and it's crucial that the air pocket be facing up in the air if you're using an egg turner. So, I'm just going to get all these in here. These eggs are from a farm so they're not the cleanest and we don't want to clean them because we don't want to damage our eggs in any way. We're good to go. So the question of the day is, people ask if you can eat a fer fertile chicken egg. The answer is yes. There's no benefit, there's no harm to you if you eat a fertile chicken egg. You just don't wanna eat these after they've been in the incubator. So thanks for checking in with us today. Join back later for more videos.